Welcome to your weekly reading for August the 21st to the 27th. I am doing this reading a little bit differently. Um, I am coming back with the weekly readings, the general weekly readings. I am also going to be coming back for September and I will be doing the September by um, your birth sign. So uh, I have been doing some other things and now I am 100% officially back. Oh wow! What an incredible, wow, that is amazing. Okay, so um, we have our three cards here. I will show you those in just a moment, but I'm just picking the rest out. Wow, okay. And then for the last one here, this is the Divine Oracle. I love this one. It's really happy, really upbeat. Mm hmm have faith. That's lovely. Okay, so now for your uh, first card, this one here is the situation. This one here is the action. This one here is the outcome. And these are the signifier cards, okay? So these are cards that are assisting with this reading. And so with this one here, the two of wands, this is really cool because this is talking about new path, new journey that is happening for you. Uh, it is illuminated and that is absolutely awesome. So when you see two um, like pillars, wands, anything like that, that means that you're walking into something new. There is a new journey ahead. There is a new path. This is really exciting. Allow yourself to be really, really excited and also, you know, nervous and scared like you're gonna have all those emotions but as we are kind of um I'm sorry to say winding down in the summer we are uh, moving into more of a foundational time and with this foundational time there's like new layers and old layers so new layers to start and create and old layers to get rid of okay so here you have the chariot this is a major arcana this is an action card and this chariot this one here is saying that you want to amplify yourself you don't want to be small you want to be big okay so you really want to show up in a very big way a very very clear way um i almost like what i what i'm hearing right now is a very loud way so there's there's so many shifts that are going on right now and spirit is saying you know like People need to be inspired. People need to uh, feel that they are heard and that they are understood. And so if you are showing up and you are saying, hey, you know what? I'm feeling this way. This is something I'm creating. Um, this is what I'm doing in my journey. There is that inspiration that you are giving other people. And you're also like giving people permission. And so with this one here, this chariot, it's like the best card in the deck. For this being your action, this person here, this person is like, like parading around town and kind of showing off. Now, it's not about the showing off, but it's about saying, you know, I'm confident in who I am. I'm stepping into my power. I am who I am and I'm not apologizing for it. And so that's what this is here. I love that. And then... Wow. Then you have justice. And this is another major arcana. These scales, they're balanced. And this means that things are working out. There is something uh, that you have been dealing with and it is, um, it's on the mend. It is, it is working out. There's some sort of legalities. Like there's a lot of like really good energy that's coming from this. This is the outcome and things are working out. Things are going to be working out in your favor. What a fantastic uh, spread for this week. What fantastic, amazing energy for this week. Now, when you give, sorry, this is the four of Ariel, the four of pentacles, um, very, very foundational, okay? And so when you give, you also receive. 
being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. So when this card comes up, this, uh, like the, the four, just the number four by itself is very, very foundational, okay? And so um, I think root chakra, I think of career, I think of home, I think of health. So those are the things that I think of. And so, and what come up for me. So when you give, you also receive. There is sort of this balancing that um, needs to happen within you. And so there is this, uh, I, I kind of almost feel like there's some sort of letting go of some sort of perception or something. And so and it, it's even like uh, materialistic, but also with your thoughts, like there's some things that you just have to let go of thought wise and mindset wise. And then when you let those things go, you're going to receive in other ways. And you're going to find that it's going to be quite, um, uh, I want to say uplifting, um, profound, but that's not even the word that I'm thinking of either. Um, mind blowing, <laughs> um, kind of, there's a word that I'm trying to think of and I can't think of it, but it's kind of like, it's, it's like a, a shift in perspective, um, a paradigm shift, but still not the word that I'm thinking of. Anyway, along those lines, that's what I'm thinking of. Now, this one here also says being resistant to change. So with that giving in, in receiving where there's that materialistic, where there is that um, thought process that we were just discussing. Now, being resistant to change, you see here, when I said and what I felt here is like, this is super exciting that you have uh, this new journey ahead, but there's also fears that go with that. And so with the fears, like I said, you want to be standing in your personal power. You really want to be showing up big for yourself. So being resistant to change, you know what? There's nothing wrong with being resistant to change, but you still want to move forward. You still want to take those steps. You still want to put yourself first and you want to do something for you that you are going to feel like you are um, doing something so big for yourself and your foundation and how how you're growing and moving forward like that's what I'm talking about here and then this one here is extremes in how you save and spend money so this is something um, like before like because we're kind of you know we're going to be going into a seasonal change in, in September we're going to be moving into fall so we we still have this last bit of cycle of summer right now and so really it's a almost like what I'm receiving is like hunkering down looking at things that you're spending on and kind of you know saying you know uh, I, I I could be putting this money into savings I could be doing something I could be spending money that's really going to benefit or you could invest in yourself um, what I'm talking about is avoid spending money on frivolous things and really focus on where the money is going to help you grow um, whether that's spiritually um, whether that is like financial financially and like savings and stuff um or if there's other things that you can invest like in yourself like maybe buy a course or do something like that but but um focus on not spending it on things that aren't going to add um happiness and joy and um overall like some sort of education to your life okay and then this one here have faith have faith. Wow. Okay. So have faith that this journey is going to be a journey. And even though this is a weekly reading, this means that you really got to have that belief in yourself and know that things are definitely going to work out for you. This is, this was such a fun reading. Um, really, really in depth, a lot of stuff going on, huge, huge shifts that are going on. And I'm talking like monumental, like we, we have things, we have, um, planets and, and signs that are in retrograde right now. And, uh, you really want to be, um, not worrying about those. You want to be focusing on you. You want to be focusing on your next moves. You want to be focusing on, um, your happiness and your fulfillment and your success. 
And so this here just brings like a really awesome balance of where you are checking in with yourself and you are making those moves and you are thinking big, you are acting big and you're showing up where you are honoring yourself. Thank you so much for uh, showing up for yourself. Thank you for listening to this reading and have an incredible week ahead.